So hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install KVM QEMU on your Arch Linux desktop. Before we begin any of this, you should enable the uh, virtualization capabilities on your computer's BIOS so that uh, we don't have any trouble during uh, down the line of this installation. So let's get started. So first open up a terminal and we have to install these following packages. I'm going to be uh, writing these down in the description so you can just copy and paste them. But here are these uh, packages that you got to install. So let's just install these packages. And just download these packages. So once we get all those packages installed, we have to just uh, start the libvirt service. So just type the command sudo systemctl start libvirtd. Once we do that, we just have to enable the service so that we don't have to do it manually every other time. So let's just do that. Enable. All right. With all that done, uh, just we just have to just check uh, check the libvirt dconfig file to make sure that uh, we have the right permissions to access this group. So just type vim slash etc slash libvirt slash libvirt dot conf. Now just see if we have the right perms so here make sure that unix socket group is only word that's fine and the unix socket ro perms are on 0, 0.7 then the unix socket rw perms are on 0, 0.0.7.0 so once all that are, uh, all that things are on check we can just quit this now we just have to add our user onto the live word group so let's do that sudo user mod dash a g live word. here i'm typing my name devyanshu uh, you have to change it for your username fine now let's just restart the service Alright, so far things has been going on really well. Now let's just let's just open word manager. And hopefully everything should be fine. So yes, our KVM is connected. Now let's just set up our preference right here so that enable the XML editing so that we can uh, configure virtual machines so yeah that was it for this video I hope you uh, liked it and you found it helpful and uh, in the next video I'm gonna be installing an Android x86 virtual machine on this word manager so stay tuned thanks for watching